coin goes in, that comes out. I've gone this far. Cheers. Ground floor. Some of those urns have coin in them, don't they? At last, the willful prince has ventured all the way up to the surface of the mortal realm. Yet still, he is encased within the earth itself. Gateway to the underworld, a threshold from which there is no escape. We'll see about that. Oh no, not this. The multi headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for, on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Sater problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone, my mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell barks once, affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. Should stock up for the road ahead. <sighs> this way. Hey! Thanks.
not so fast. Cerberus. Sator tunnels. Cerberus will love it. got your favorite treat, but you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. I owe you one, boy. I did it. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. 
I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. No, you're going home, not me. That then why I wear the helm of darkness. Oh, you should have avoided that. Darkness. such treatment from my brothers, but from you. <laughs> Enough of this. If this must be the way to teach you discipline, then so be it. Ah, damn you, father. 